Hi there, today we're going to be graphing a quadratic function using a table of values. Quadratic functions. A quadratic function is a function where the highest power of the variable is 2. You can consider a function as a machine. When you input a value of x, you will get a value of y coming out. The general form of a quadratic function is y is equal to ax squared plus bx plus c, where a, b and c are constants. The graph of a quadratic equation or function is called a parabola. It looks like a smooth curve with the ends pointing in the same direction. The parabola is concave up when the value of a is positive and the ends of the parabola are pointing upwards. The parabola is concave down when a is negative and the ends of the parabola are pointing downwards. In our examples, we will graph parabolas within a specific domain. Here is our first example. Plot the curve y is equal to 2x squared minus x plus 5 in the range x is greater than or equal to negative 2 and less than or equal to 2. First, we need to create a table of values. In our table of values, we have the x values negative 2, negative 1, 0, 1 and 2. We want to find the corresponding y values by substituting the x values into our quadratic function. Let's first take a look at when x is equal to negative 2. Our corresponding y value will be 2 lots of negative 2 or squared subtract negative 2 plus 5. This will give us 2 lots of 4 plus 2 plus 5. We'll then get 8 plus 7. This will give us 15 for our corresponding y value. Let's put that into our table of values. We can repeat this method for the rest of the x values. When x is equal to negative 1, we'll get y is equal to 8. When x is equal to 0, we'll have y is equal to 5. When x is equal to 1, we'll have y is equal to 6. And when x is equal to 2, we'll have y is equal to 11. Next, we'll graph these coordinates. When you're setting up your axes, make sure that you have the x values from negative 2 to 2 and the y values go all the way up to 15. Ensure that your intervals are evenly spaced. Next, we can plot our coordinates. The first coordinate is negative 2 and 15. We then have negative 1, 8. Next, we have 0, 5. 1, 6. And 2, 11. Once we have finished plotting our points, we can draw a smooth curve. Here is our parabola y is equal to 2x squared minus x plus 5 in the range negative 2 to 2. Here is our next example. Plot the curve y is equal to negative x squared plus 3x plus 2 in the range x is greater than or equal to negative 1 and less than or equal to 3. First, we need to create a table of values. In our table of values, we have the x values of negative 1, 0, 1, 2 and 3. We want to find the corresponding y values. Let's take a look at x is equal to negative 1. We'll then get y is equal to negative, negative 1 squared, plus 3 lots of negative 1, plus 2. Negative 1 squared gives us positive 1, and 3 lots of negative 1 gives us negative 3. We will then get negative 1 minus 3, which is negative 4, plus 2. This gives us negative 2. When x is equal to negative 1, we'll have y is equal to negative 2. We can follow the same method for x is equal to 0, 1, 2, and 3. When x is equal to 0, we'll get y is equal to 2. When x is equal to 1, we'll get y is equal to 4. When x is 2, y is 4. And when x is 3, we'll get y is equal to 2. We can now use our table of values to create a graph. When creating the x and y axes, ensure that you have the x values from negative 1 all the way to 3 and the appropriate y values. Next, we'll plot our coordinates. Our first coordinate is negative 1, negative 2. Next is 0, 2. 1, 4. Two, four. And three, two. Next, we'll join up our points to make a smooth curve.
Here's our parabola y is equal to negative x squared plus 3x plus 2 in the range negative 1 to 3. Thank you for watching this video. When you subscribe to Class Notes, you will learn more about maths and stay updated with weekly videos and learning material. Turn on your notifications today and if you like the video, give it a thumbs up. Until next time.